So I was worried that this car vlog would be my first video from Vlogtober this year that doesn't have anything to do with October or Halloween, but there's a pumpkin patch right there. So I'm gonna say that that counts. It counts, right? It's atmosphere. Oh, it's gone now. Well, it was there for a second. Anyway, this is a car vlog. I haven't done one in a while. Uh, it's just gonna be me talking because I didn't film anything today and uh, for a couple of reasons. I will tell you what those reasons are, but um, first of all, I want to say if you can hear the sound that my car is making right now, uh, don't worry. First of all, hopefully you can't hear it, but if you do hear it, uh, we're going to the mechanic tomorrow. I don't think it's a big deal. I think I need new brake pads. Hopefully that's it because yeah, there's like a, a squeaky, like screechy sound <laughs> coming from my driver's side front tire. And I think it's, I think it's the brake thing. My brakes are working fine, thankfully, but uh, yeah, that sound, something, something is not quite right. So we're gonna handle that tomorrow. So I didn't film today for a couple of reasons, which I feel like I've done this a couple of times where I'm like, oh, I have a couple of days, like with downtime in the middle of my day, like I'm still working, but I have, you know, a good chunk of time where I could sit there and like batch film and then I don't do it because I, I really, needed the time off which i mean so that's good i'm glad that i i kind of did nothing today i like watched a bunch of youtube videos which is by the way one of my least favorite things about vlogtober even though i love it uh, i would say one of my least favorite things is that um i don't get to watch that much youtube during it i think uh, i've been doing better about it this year though like i'll have like a chunk of time where i can just sit and like catch up on videos and like watch a bunch of videos at once um but i think like the first year I did Vlogtober, I didn't watch any videos, like, for the entire month. So anyway, that's what I did today. Um, so I guess that's part of the reason I didn't film. But the other reason is, um, I, I've been having some camera issues, and maybe you noticed. Um, I mentioned it in yesterday's video, um, where I'm, like, going in and out of focus. And, um, I think that, so I use the Canon G7X, and I think that this is, like, somewhat of a common problem with this camera. I've seen other vloggers talk about it. Um, and I think the thing is like, I think this is a great camera for um, being out and about and like filming things when you're out and about. Like one of the videos I was watching today um, was someone who I know uses this camera too. And she was out filming like at some location and she was filming herself, she was filming other things. And occasionally she would go in and out of focus um, but it really wasn't that big of a deal. I think you kind of get a free pass when you're out because, you know, you only get one shot to film something. And if you get back and uh, you're editing and see that you're out of focus here and there, there's not much you can do about it. It's not like you can just reshoot. I mean, I guess you could, but sometimes you can't. Plus, I think those types of videos in general just tend to be a little bit rougher and like you don't expect it to be as polished, right? Whereas if you're filming like a sit down video and you know, you go to edit and see that it's all out of focus, like people would expect you to probably film it again. And so because Vlogtober moves on kind of a fast like schedule, uh, I didn't want to film and then have to sit down and film something again. So I figured I would do kind of a more casual video today because I do have a couple topics that I, um, things that I have planned to film that, I mean, it's not like they're super serious or anything, but they are videos that I would like to be in focus <laughs> at the bare minimum. Um, one is a hotel review, um, that a hotel that I stayed at a few weeks ago. Um, I know a couple of people have asked me to post that and I said I was going to post it on Friday. Uh, the main reason I haven't done it yet is because of the camera focus issue. So I want to make that video when I actually have time to to, uh, go back and check and make sure I'm in focus and really like pay attention to what I'm doing um, so it might not be able to be something that I can just do quickly and then the other video that I have planned is a merchandise haul from Midsummer Scream another event that I went to in August and um, I wanted to show you all of the stuff that I bought while I was there and um, for those who haven't maybe seen the video Midsummer Scream is like a haunt preview of like some of the theme parks um, and then some of the community like backyard haunts and also uh, like small shops will come and uh, sell spooky things. <laughs> I said that so weird. Anyway, they sell things and so I bought things and so I uh, posted that video. There's a video from the event um, from the first week of Vlogtober but I didn't post my merch haul yet because there was like one item that I lost. <laughs> I mean, like I didn't lose, lose it. Like I know it was around somewhere or I hoped it was around somewhere, but I could not find it. 
And then um, as of this morning, I realized that I had actually lost two things. Didn't know where they were. And I assumed they were probably in a purse somewhere or in a backpack or in my car or something. But uh, I literally, as I was on my way out the door just now, uh, found both of them. So I will probably film that video tomorrow. And I'm also not that super booked with work this week, so I'll hopefully have some time to sit down and figure out the camera issue. Um, as far as I know, I, I think what is happening to my camera is a little bit worse than like what's typical for this camera because, I mean, I've had this camera since uh, May of 2019. Wait, no, maybe it was like June, July, August, something. It was summer 2019, I think. And uh, haven't really had this problem where if I'm just like sitting in my house and then I go out of focus. Actually, that's not totally true. Sometimes I would go out of focus, but the thing is like in the past, it was like very obvious and I could just like tap on the screen and be back in focus. But like what's happening this time is like, I think, I think before like, I would be out of focus and also the background would be out of focus so it's like okay I have to like fix that um, but I think this time it's like I am just slightly out of focus so it's not as obvious and then the camera is focusing on something else and I know I've seen uh, other vloggers who complain about like this problem like that it's getting worse and um, I haven't seen really a solution to it I think the people who I've seen talk about it have just ended up getting a camera which is funny because I feel like in the YouTube community there's like a split between there's some people who are really techie and into that side of things with like knowing about cameras and like things like that and there are some people who just like to make videos and I think one of the reasons a lot of people get the G7X is because it's very user friendly you don't have to know anything about cameras it's just kind of like a higher level point and shoot camera and I really did not I mean I figured I was gonna have to learn how to make videos, how to edit, how to talk in front of the camera. There was a lot of learning going on. And I was like, I do not wanna to have to learn a complicated camera also, so that this, this is the camera that I need to get. Which is funny because I was actually, when I bought this camera, I was like, I would say 90% certain that I was going to walk out of the store. I went to Best Buy and I thought I was gonna walk out of the store with the Canon M50. Um, the main reason I got this one instead is because it's a little more comp compact. Um, so, you know, if I'm at a theme park or something, easy to just put it in my bag and then like whip it out when I need it. Um, the M50 is better to use with like an external mic. Um, the G7X doesn't even have an option of using an external mic. And so again, that like cuts down on the bulkiness and also I don't have to buy a microphone, which um, the cameras themselves are around the same price, um, but then I would have to buy a mic. Um, and I think the other main thing, this is probably what really sealed the deal, is that the G7X tends to do better with like nighttime footage and like low light and stuff like that. So yeah, I got this camera and I have lately been thinking that, and by lately I mean for the past like year or so, more than that, have been thinking that I should upgrade to the M50. And um, I don't even know if it'll be that much of an upgrade. I think it will be like it's not gonna be like a huge difference but there will be a difference and I think especially with the audio um, I've noticed sometimes the G7X audio like it picks up echoes a little more um, I think that would be helped by using an external mic so I think the audio with the M50 would be a little better um, and also I've been wanting to bring back my vegan pet sitter YouTube channel which I started like during the pandemic and then I kind of I made like five videos and launched it and I was all excited and then I abandoned it because uh, I guess because at the time I didn't really know what was gonna happen with my business on the other side of this and so it felt a little weird to not be working and be making videos about my business or about pets I don't know um, but yeah another reason I kind of put a pause on that is because uh, I wanted those videos to look a little more professional than just like a vlog, you know, so um, the issue of the camera and hopefully getting a little better at editing and maybe having some kind of a like backdrop, like I don't know, I've never really put together like a set filming location. I feel like it should be like at my desk or something for work stuff, but um, most of my videos, I mean at home, I'll just be on the couch or something and I feel like I could do a little better than that for that channel. So anyway, hopefully I do figure out the issues with my camera this week. Um, I do want to get the M50 
hopefully within the next few months um but we'll see i mean that's going to be like probably a 700 dollar investment and i i can't do that right now which by the way i completely forgot about what i was going to say <laughs> i was going to say this at the beginning of the video but hopefully if you made it this far um then you are the right person to ask um but i had this goal that I was hoping to reach 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I mean, my original goal was to reach 2,000 subscribers by the end of Vlogtober, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Um, but I have been creeping up to 1,700, and like this whole week, I've been like, I'll gain a few subscribers, then I'll lose a couple, then I'll gain a few more, then I'll lose like one or two. And uh, I think right now I'm like two or three away from 1,700. So if you have a friend that you think might be interested in my channel or maybe there's a video like a specific video or topic or something that you think they would like um if you wanted to send them a link to it you could do that and i would appreciate it so i also since i didn't really have anything planned for today i also wanted to talk about what i'm gonna be filming like this week and then the rest of the month um so like i mentioned i'm gonna have that hotel review hopefully this week and the merch haul i think that'll be tomorrow i want to try doing like a week vlog kind of instead of a day in the life but like a week in the life um and I wanted to talk more about that project that I mentioned yesterday that I didn't want to tell you about because it, I was talking I was babbling nonsense um but now I have kind of a better idea of what I want to tell you about it um so and I'm going to be working on it this week so I thought and uh people have asked for more content related to my business so it seemed like that might be a good video to make or something to talk about. I don't know, just kind of the process of figuring this thing out. So I think I might do that. I mean, I think that like, I like day in the life vlogs, but I feel like I spend a lot of my time doing like my pet sitting and dog walking work. And like, I don't know, I spend a big chunk of my day doing the same stuff every day like so doing like a lot of people do vlogtober they just do a day in the life video for every day like in there's like a, a YouTube like Facebook group that I'm in that people were talking about vlogtober and I said like something about like oh I need to pick some more topics for the rest of the month and someone was like what do you mean topics like are you just doing your day every day and um, I think that if I were to do that there would be too much repetition. So I think doing a full week makes a lot more sense. It would be more interesting to watch. And so I'm gonna be working on that this week. And I'm also, I also wanna do like a introduction kind of video, um, kind of talking about myself, I guess, because I realized some people, like I mentioned things like, you know me, <laughs> and there's like, there's new people who um, haven't heard me talk about certain things, don't know that I have a pet sitting and dog walking business or whatever. So it's not gonna be anything like complicated. It'll probably be like a 10 or 15 minute video just giving you the basics. But if there's any like questions or anything you want me to talk about or cover in that video, um, let me know. I did plan, I had, had planned in my Vlogtober calendar that I was gonna do a couple more haunts. This month I was gonna do Not Scary Farm and uh, Halloween Horror Nights. But I don't know, I don't know if that's gonna happen. Um, I am working a lot for the rest of, I mean, I wouldn't say working a lot. I just got done saying that I'm not working as much. I'm working like pretty much every day, even though I'm not working a lot. And I'm like, I'm, I'm at this far into Vlogtober, I'm like a little bit tired. And the idea of <laughs> making more videos from home and just of me doing things that I would normally be doing, um, that is more appealing. So, I mean, there is a still a possibility that I'll go do a haunt or do some other theme park thing. Maybe I'll go to Knott's during the day because I do have an annual pass. Um, but I don't know. We'll see. But I did uh, just within the last couple days pull those topics off the calendar and put them back into the maybe pile. So whatever. I mean, I feel like with the theme park stuff, I feel like there's this big push to feel like you have to do everything like as soon as it comes out like when there's new attractions or new like shows new whatever like I feel like a lot of um, theme park fans and also like theme park content creators feel like they have to go do the thing like as soon as possible and to me I feel like that is not 
how I want to experience theme parks. I feel like I want to experience them like in my own time and that like makes it more enjoyable. I mean, and plus that's like part of the way you never run out of stuff to do, right? If I don't do it for the first time this year, then I will experience those haunts for the first time next year. Anyway, um, another thing about this camera is that for some reason it won't record past, I don't know what the exact mark is, but I think it's like 23, 24 minutes and right now we're at like 22 something. Um, so I think I should stop talking while I still have you before it turns itself off because I don't want to have to push any buttons while I'm driving. So um, I'm going to end this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.